and welcome to the morning bulletin from Business Standard. Mumbai's oldest multiplex is now one of its swankiest, having been put up on the market by its developers when the previous leaseholders, Inox Leisure and Reliance Media Works, could not afford the rent. The year's 12 fame multiplex has now been relaunched by PVR, which took on the lease as one of its ECX or Enhanced Cinema Experience Theatres. Kitted with screens with 2K digital projections, 7.1 Dolby digital surround sound, 3D enabled screens with JBL's four-way speakers, foyers done up in Noche Travertine natural stone and PVR's signature black and gold scheme, it promises to be a favourite destination for movie premieres and screenings given its location at the heart of suburbs in Andheri West. However, down the same road is yet another multiplex, Cinemax. While a year back this could have been a competitor, now it means PVR Cinemas has two multiplexes next to each. However, PVR's promoters are not concerned about a common catchment area for its two brands. Sanjeev Kumar Bijli, Managing Director of PVR Limited, says PVR would like to see more of large format multiplexes coming up. It has also been able to launch some in Bangalore and Kochi. But in Mumbai, it is still looking for space for theatres with 11 screens. With breaks applied to mall development across the country, supply of new screens for multiplex change has decreased. PVR's dual brand presence in Indian cities will alleviate any downturn pang. In fact, PVR has already started merging the two brands. Bijri says PVR is in the process of cherry-picking certain Cinemax theatres for the first phase of rebranding, so the Cinemax next door to Andheri's PVR would eventually flaunt the same brand name as would the single Cinemax property in Delhi. The acquisition has led PVR to pause its plans of expanding its non-theatre line of branded gaming and bowling centres called PVR Blue O. PVR is investing around 250 crore rupees to revamp some of its own and Cinemax's multiplexes. But the focus on ticket revenue such as FNB and sponsorships at its multiplexes is more intense than ever. First, PVR is getting its pricing right. It has been able to variably price a number of services that have taken advantage of the changes in audience buying power through the day. It is now known for its variable ticket pricing across time brands in almost all its theatres. In smaller cities, it has even been pricing its FNB variably. The FNB business clocked 280 crore rupees in 2012-13 with the company deploying a mix of outsourced and in-house food preparations. The three ECX multiplexes, two in Mumbai and one in Bangalore, will have a lot of choice along with a Popcorn Express right at the entrance for people to grab some food while they wait to produce their tickets and avoid a queue inside. PVR's movie distribution arm PVR Pictures has also let the parent cross-leverage its exhibition business. Around 30% of its exhibition business revenue comes from Hollywood movies, which means more margins since the tickets are higher priced. A strong box office and FNB revenues of both the brands drove up the exhibition business's net profit this quarter at a growth of 26%. However, its competition is consolidating too. Inox Leisure will merge its acquisition, Fame India arming itself with economies of scale as well. That's all for now. Watch out for more on this space in the afternoon.